this is this is the helmet section. I breed primarily black helmets, uh, reds and yellows, but you're going to see mainly black. I went into that color because it was more of a challenging color, and uh, I think they're striking. If you raise a real good one, they look, they look good. Here, we're over in the English short face tumblers. This is this is uh, Will Ubel strain, 100%. Will, when he left the game, gifted me four pair of English, and these are the birds that so far I've been breeding, and uh, they're also show winners. They, they, um, they're resting now. It's a little, it's pretty, um, it's it's in the winter time right now, so I don't I don't just let them take care of themselves. I don't uh, try to do anything or give them any special vitamins right now. Now we're going to move over to the magpie section. The magpies are a two-color bird, a mark bird, and you need a lot of them in order to breed the right in order to breed the right uh, set of. Um, uh, 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 markings. So you will you may wait, have one magpie made it to a, a yellow white flight and maybe 25% of the young birds will come out marked properly. It's a difficult breed, the markings are hard, but once you breed a real good one, uh, they're nice to see. Here's part of the feeding section. I use New York flying flights. Uh, they're breeding now. Uh, by the time I'm ready to show the birds, um, or breed the birds, I'll have about 20 pair. These are reds and yellows. Over here is a strain of Isabella's that my good friend uh, Paul Buckenfusco uh, gifted me, and uh, we're going to leave them together and uh, try to raise as many as we can. They're very good feeders, and they're not wild. Uh, so I'm happy with them. And that's it for now. I appreciate your time. Any questions, just give me a call. 973-419-0358. Thank you.